that's the end of my one brand makeup tutorial using only NYX products. I tried to use... Oh, hello. Oh, don't you love it? Danger does love me. Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, hi, my name is Tina. I'm a makeup artist and I'm really excited about today's video. I've decided today to film a one brand makeup tutorial using NYX professional makeup products. Oh, so happy, so excited. So I don't know why I'm so psyched. It's just really fun to do this kind of video. I wanted to do a different video today. So it's a makeup tutorial, but I'm only using one brand of makeup to achieve the eyes, the lips, the foundation and other things are different products. My brows are from NYX as well. Basically, I wanted to show how amazing NYX are as a makeup company i am not being sponsored for this video i do not have any kind of commission coming from this video all makeup use is my own just want to put that out there before everyone starts saying oh you got paid for this oh no this is my own professional passion on a makeup company that i just feel are so affordable you can really just get an essence of quality out of it some products which are affordable aren't best in quality so it sometimes makes it difficult to buy a product and think mm, was that really worth it so i went in today and did my brows using the nyx tame and frame pomade this color is in espresso my super dry pomade oh my god it's so dry the eyeshadow was used creating the metal and the wind elements eyeshadow palettes from the collection these are really awesome for creating those just colours that work well with my skin tone. I went in with this NYX Intense Butter Gloss range. There's loads and loads of colours. I am desperately in need to go to Boots and buy some more. This colour is Apple Crisp. Lush. Smells like sweets. And I also went in with the NYX Colour Correcting Powder in the colour Banana to give myself a bit of lift right here because today I'm feeling very uh. My dark circles are looking uh. So I wanted this to make me feel... Oh, and I forgot... I used a bunch of these on my eyes as well not all the colours I just wanted to show you guys there's so many colours and I need more I actually really need to go get some more of these I used the white the orange and the purple was for the liner really amazing to glide you guys know the deal if you like the video then please don't forget to subscribe to me I love your support I love your opinions be nice be honest but also don't forget to like the video and don't forget to press the bell don't forget to press every single button on your screen okay then you'll be good okay thank you very much follow me on my social media so twitter facebook snapchat i am everywhere you can't go anywhere these days without seeing me on everything i snap regularly i just do everything to just get you guys to see what I'm basically all about. I'm gonna stop talking because the more I talk, the less time you're gonna have to watch the video because you're gonna get bored. You're gonna most probably skip this bit and think, okay, Tina, seriously, shut up. Let me, let you watch the video. Let me know your thoughts. Thanks so much for watching in advance and I'll see you guys on the other side. See ya. I'm gonna start off this tutorial. Gonna go in with two of the NYX in your element palettes, the wind and metal palettes. I wanna start just by saying I'm gonna be creating this look from my mind. I have got no idea of the look I'm gonna create. I wanna just make something that is just totally different, you know? You know, you feel like you get on cam, haven't really thought about the look, you're just gonna go with it. I'm gonna start off with the wind palette. I'm gonna go in with this really beautiful color here. It's like a light blue aquamarine style color. I'm just gonna start by working that into the middle of my eye and bringing it round to create that light transition. I'm going to try and use as many shades as possible to max out these NYX palettes as best I can. We're going with this deeper blue colour. Just going to use a tiny bit of that on the end of my brush and start to really work that into the corner. And just, I'm going to do the opposite today. Normally I start from the outer corner and work my way in. I'm going to start in the inner corner and work my way out. I want to create a look which is kind of focusing this way for once rather than going the other way. These colours, I have to admit, they are really, really blendable. I'm using a really small amount of this and I'm really enjoying how it's blending out. I'm not going to come too far on the outer corner. I'm just going to leave that pretty much light. 
Use some concealer on a flat brush and I'm going to cut a little bit of that out now on my lid. Going back here with that really dark blue that we used before, I'm going to use on a really small brush just to define the darkness in the corner where I've lost it with the concealer. Woo! Dropping everything! Using the metal palette, I'm going to go in with this colour here. I'm going to go in with this colour here, pinky kind of, I would say like a shimmery pink. I'm going to focus that into the corner of the eye just to give my eye now some kind of colour. Then going back in with the wind palette, I just could not resist this colour. I was so excited when I got this and I was like, this has got to be used. I'm going to pack that heavily onto a flat brush, sweeping that out to the side of my eye and blending that pink and the blue together the metal palette I've just looked and I really like the look of this color here I'm going to use this on like an angled brush where I did that blue going up I'm going to use it just to do a very small line so I've just put foundation on color corrected my eyes now I'm going to go in with the NYX color correcting powder this is in the color banana the most amazing thing about this is that it color corrects your eyes with the formula because it's a banana -y color it really helps to set your concealer and get rid of those dark circles which just literally make my life a living hell just to very lightly i'm not baking or anything what i'm doing is i'm just setting off my concealer with this baking powder just to allow it to work in there get right in there and get these dark circles under some kind of wrap. Swipe off the excess. As you can see, there is a very light underlay, so it makes the underneath part of my eye really lifted. I love this baking powder, it is the best. I don't really bake anymore. I haven't really seen many people baking a lot recently. It just seems to be used as a fad, like, you know, everyone does something for a little while and then it just, the, the fashion decides to change and everyone does something different. So I never really used to bake. I used to find it made me look a little bit patchworky. But when it comes to colour correcting my eyes, I really need something underneath there to reduce the dark circles and make my eyes look like they are worth living. I'm going with a really big boofy brush and just swipe away the majority of that excess now that I've worked it all in. And I'm just going to press that powder in to the underneath part of my eyes. I am now lifted and full of life. Going in now with the NYX Tail and Frame Pomade in Espresso. This is so dry. Best tip to de-dry your pomades is to put them in the microwave for about five to 10 seconds and then they just literally soften really lightly. Trust me, it is the best idea ever. I never used to use pomades. I used to use shadows, brownie shadows to do my eyebrows. I really stick to pomades. And then what I do is I use the, like a brown eyeshadow to go over the top. Helps to really set it. I'm gonna go onto my eyeliner. I'm gonna use the NYX Vivid Brights in the color purple. These eyeliners are so amazing. The brush tip allows you to just create that wing in one super side. Yes, yes. So going in with the NYX Vivid Bright in the white one, I'm gonna just add a few little like dots. So with the wind palette, I'm gonna use this really beautiful glittery black shade to do underneath my waterline. I'm going to go in with a black eyeliner from uh, Soap and Glory. Then with the orange Vivid Bright Liner, I'm going to add a few more dots to my face. Then I'm just going to highlight my face. I don't have a NYX highlighter, but it's still a really cheap one. It's from Makeup Revolution. It is in the colour Pink Lights. Then to finish off this look, I'm going to go in with the NYX Intense Butter Gloss in the colour Apple Crisp. This is lush and it smells like sweets. It is the best lip gloss I have. It's just so rich and thick and stuck because it went, ah, there we go. It's really thick and it just really finishes off any look Look at that red, it's rich, vibrant, it gives me so much life.
that's the end of my one brand makeup tutorial using only NYX products. I did use a few other products like my foundation, my colour correcting, but the most, I'm just, I'm re I really like, when it comes to talking, I don't like lipstick on my teeth and I feel like I'm talking and there's lipstick on my teeth. I use eyeshadow, some eyeliner and the most amazing part of all, the lip gloss. I really hope you enjoyed the video you guys and if you did, please don't forget to subscribe, like the video and I can't wait to see you guys next time. Thanks so much for watching. See you soon. Bye!